That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The moon is the only object visited by man. On July 20, 1969, the Apollo 11 spacecraft landed on its surface. Neil Armstrong became the first man who walked on the moon together with Buzz Aldrin. They spent about two and a half hours on the moon. Preparation for the flight took several years and all of the astronaut equipments weighted more than 80 kgs. So what if you found yourself on the moon without all these protective equipment or a protective suit? Would you be able to survive on the moon for at least 30 seconds? Well, just imagine if you step on the moon without a spacesuit and you are watching, just imagine. Now you have moon dust under your feet and a black sky with stars overhead. But you have no time to admire the scenery. Unfortunately, there is no air for you to breathe in. The moon has physically no atmosphere. The moon's gas content is considered to be a vacuum. In fact, the density of the atmosphere of the moon can be compared with the density of the uppermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, where the ISS, the International Space Station, is located. But there is a good news in such conditions. You have about 15 seconds before you pass out from hypoxia. This is how much time your body will have to use the remaining oxygen in your blood to sustain brain function. But a lack of air is far from our only one concern. Since there is particularly no atmosphere, the pressure is extremely low on Earth a column of air with a mass of about 15 to 20 tons presses the entire surface of an adult's body. However, we don't notice this firstly. The air pillars presses evenly from all sides. And secondly, there is also air inside of our bodies. And the internal pressure is equal to the atmosphere. But due to the low pressure on the moon, nitrogen dissolves in the blood and tissues will be released in form of bubbles in your body. Your body starting with your arms and legs will swell like a balloon. But you won't burst. The elasticity of your skin will protect you from tearing. But don't try to hold your breath. As such as a low pressure, you could face the same problem as divers. When rising too fast to the surface, your lungs could burst. A better idea, on the contrary, is to exhale more over under such conditions. Water will boil regardless of the temperature. This means that the liquid in open areas, skin and eyes, will evaporate. You feel how the saliva boils on your tongue but the blood will remain liquid. The walls of your vessels will protect it from boiling. We can't exactly call the temperatures on the moon comfortable during the day. The surface warm up to 127 degrees Celsius. And at night, the temperature can drop to negative 173 degrees Celsius. Moreover, a day on the moon is equivalent to 29 Earth days. Therefore, like Apollo 11, it's better to choose dawn for a visit to the moon when the surface is not so cold but has not had time to warm up too much. But even if you find yourself on the moon at night, you won't freeze instantly. There are three types of heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation in the vacuum of space. There is only one kind of thermal radiation. So, you'll lose heat very slowly. But you are not just in space. You are standing on the surface of the moon, which means that there is another kind of heat transfer in addition to thermal radiation conduction. But the surface of the moon doesn't conduct heat very well. So, you won't turn into ice, at least not in 30 seconds. If you find yourself on the moon in the afternoon, then within a few seconds, Instead of panic, you'll get burned by solar radiations. 
On Earth, the ozone layer protects us from the dangerous ultraviolet radiations of the sun. And on the moon, you won't have such protection. In addition, it will be unbearable to stand on the hot surface. Also, the moon has a very weak magnetic field. This means that once on the moon you will be attacked by stream of solar and galactic cosmic rays. You will face a big health problem, but not in those 30 seconds. If only your stay on Earth satellite doesn't coincide with the next cycle of solar activity, which happens every 11 years. During that time, flares of the sun emit a particularly large number of X-rays and gamma rays. In this situation, you are very likely to die instantly. Another trouble that awaits you on the moon is dust called regolith. This is where Neil Armstrong left an imprint of his boot since there is no wind on the moon. It has survived to this day and if you had more than 30 seconds, you could find it's true. You definitely need a space suit without one. Moon dust carries mortal dangers for you. Well, have you noticed the huge number of craters on the moon's surface? These are traces of meteorite falling. The active bombardment of the moon ended 3.87 billion years ago. Nevertheless, meteorites still fall on the surface. Sometimes they are tiny and sometimes they are incredibly huge. For example, in 2014, Spanish astronomers recorded the collision of a meteorite within more than 400 kilograms. If you find yourself near the place of the fall of such a giant meteorite, then your 30 seconds on the moon will expire much earlier. When meteorite fall, regolith forms as a result of crushing of lunar rocks under vacuum. Its particles are very small ranging in size from 0 0.03 to 1 mm. However, they are very sharp and can easily damage your lungs. Moon dust is constantly bombarded by solar wind particles, which is why it acquires a positive electric charge. Therefore, it seems to rise above the surface of the moon. So, recall it, it will cause you. Your 30 seconds on the moon have expired. These were not the most pleasant seconds of your life, but the good news is that you are still alive. But what if you stay there longer without a spacesuit? In the end, the lack of air can kill you. Oxygen starvation will occur and then damage to your brain cells. But if after 90 seconds of being on the moon, you are able to return to livable conditions, then there is a high probability you will survive. But if you want to take the same long walk on the moon as the American astronaut, then you still need reliable protection. NASA just announced a new lunar spacesuit in which the American hopes to return to the moon it weighs 91 kg or about 200 pounds. But since the gravity on the moon is six times weaker than on Earth, the developers are sure that it will be comfortable to move in astronauts will not have to jump on the surface of the moon like their predecessors. They can literally walk in new suit, will also protect against moon dust and radiations. It's designed for moon walks lasting up to eight hours. In 2030, the first space should be built on the moon. NASA's new lunar program is called the Artemis program. And do you know how many people have visited to the moon in the period from 1969 to 1972? Under the Apollo program, six flights were performed with a landing on the moon. Twelve people visited its surface. The longest walk on the moon was made by Kinney Cornyn and Harrison Smith. During the last Apollo flight, it lasted for 7 hours 36 minutes. And astronaut Alan Schaffer was even able to play golf 
there as you can see despite the harsh conditions the moon remained the most hospitable object in the solar system and perhaps walk on the moon in the near future will become a reality but what if we land on the mars for the moon well for such amazing videos you can keep checking out more videos from just imagine